Hello. Scorpio. Hello to all of the Scorpios out there. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This reading will be for the week of May 17th through May 24th. This reading is for the sign of Scorpio for the week of May 17th through May the 24th. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you have a Scorpio in your birth chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this reading may resonate with your situation. We will begin. You have the Ace of Air out. I am doing or doing this reading with a new deck. It's a pretty deck as well. And you have the King of Air influencing this energy. What is the past energy for the sign? A Scorpio spirit. What is the past energy for the sign of Scorpio? These cards are so they're like huge, but they are so pretty. Hope you had a good week, Scorpio. I hope you are enjoying this beautiful weekend that we are having. Okay. We have Justice here. That's Libra. We have the Six of Water. The Fool card. That's Gemini. Aries, I'm sorry. The Fool card is Aries or Aquarius energy here. Your future, we have the Page of Air. There's a lot of air here. Then what you fear is the Two of Fire. The Two of Fire. I hope all of the cards can be seen. We have the Two of Fire. Um... How others see you? How do others see Scorpio? My son just walked into the kitchen and he's a Scorpio. So I know that this reading is going to be interesting. How do others see the sign of Scorpio? Okay. We have the King of Fire. These cards are humongous. <laughs> but they're so they're pretty. What are you hoping for, Scorpio? Okay. Two cards came out. We have the star card that's Aquarius energy. And your outcome is the tower card. Mm -mm. All right. So let's see what's going on. You have the eight of water at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what is going on with the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio, your current energy is the ace of air. So... In this deck, the Ace of Air, and other decks that, that it would be the Ace of Swords. But this is kind of like an inspirational de um, deck. So with the Ace of Air, 
you have transformation or forces of transformation at work for you at this time i mean just look at this beautiful unicorn traveling through the through the sky with the light under its feet wings like angel wings this traveling to how I'm looking at it is this unicorn is traveling to the unknown so I would say that you have the universe working in your life at this time for your highest good the universe is working in your life at this time for your highest good what's influencing this energy is the king of air with the king this king This king looks like he doesn't play any games. He's intellectual. He has good instinct. He has... He takes intellect over passion. Successful negotiation. He knows the rules and he knows the law. He thinks before he acts. He is influencing the power of his mind is influencing is it is coexisting with this king is a manifester this is air energy Aquarius Libra Gemini both of these cards but the king he's a manifester He's powerful. He's strong. He's working with the universe on your behalf, Scorpio, to manifest what it is that your heart desires. And in the past with the justice card, which in a regular deck would usually be um, the Libra. These cards are so pretty. Um, with the Justice card, you... In this deck, this is karma. The law of cause and effect. And this is in the past, this card is in the past position. So, Scorpio, in in your past, what you put out is what you get back. Whatever it is that you put out, that's what you're going to get back. That's what you got back. And what's influencing this energy is the Six of Waters. The Six of Water. So you have the King working on in your behavior. I'm sorry. The King of Air working on your behalf to manifest this new journey for you because in the past what the energy that you put out is what you got back so, and you often think about the past with the six of waters you often think about the good old days and 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 your past but right now with this full card 
This is a new journey. This is a new life. This is a new your your this is new territory for you, Scorpio. So you need to be enthusiastic about it. You need to take a risk with this new beginning that you were given with this food card. Could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius, but you need to take a risk and have faith that anything you want in this life is possible. Anything that you want in this life is possible. In the future, you have the page of air. This is more energy. The page of air. She looks like she's free and she's embracing this new life. New ideas, a new theory, new focus, curiosity, all things new in the future. But what will you do with this, Scorpio? What are you going to do with this chance that you have been given? You fear the two of fires. You fear, when I look at twos, I always look at, there may be a decision to make. You, in this deck, it, it is pertaining to creative planning for the future, progress, um, a decision to make. So you could have a decision to make. You could fear having a decision to make. You could fear, what is it that I'm going to that I'm going to do because you may not know what to do. So you fear making a decision about your life. How others see you, they see you as the king of fire. Others see you as taking action. They see you as being um, in the leadership, um, being a spiritual influencer, and what you are hoping for, you're hoping for the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. You're hoping for the star. You are hoping that whatever is going on right now, Points you in the right direction. You hope that it gives you a new sense of encouragement. That it brings change to your life. And you're hoping that you're able to see and appreciate this new beginning with the star card. But your outcome is the tower. Your outcome is the tower. And other decks, the tower represent, represents um, foundations crumbling. In this deck, there are going to be surprises. Things are going to happen really fast for you. There's going to be a paradigm shift. You could have or suddenly have an epiphany. But some something unexpected is going to happen for you, Scorpio. Something unexpected is going to happen for you. So let's pull some love oracle cards and see. Because from this reading, it just is telling me that you are 
the universe is working for you at this time. And you have a new beginning. You fear this new beginning in your life. You don't really know what's going on, where it's going. But it also says in your past, what you put out is what you get back. So with that being said, I will just say this. If I were you, I will put out good energy. I will try to do the right thing because that is what you will get back. Because usually things go around in a circle and if the universe is working for your best interest then you should be working with the universe and the first card out is sabotage it says i'm sorry hammer <laughs> sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it so, again, this is you, your past situation, um, and it's being worked on. It's being worked on. Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. New Newness. Then you have a chaser. Codependent, a chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. This could be past energy. This could be upcoming energy. This could be your energy, or it could be your partner's energy, or someone that you are dealing with. However, I don't see another person's energy here but yours at this time Scorpio so if I were you I would try to focus on myself and walk into the newness of this new this new life because the world as we have known it prior to the virus is different we are in a different realm of our existence so we can't operate on the same level that we once were so Scorpio that is your reading for the week of May 17th through May 24th I hope this reading resonates with your situation if so share like subscribe hit the notification bell for upcoming videos be safe out there. I'm sending light, love, peace, and healing energy into the world. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Enjoy the rest of this weekend and the week ahead. I will see you next time. Bye.